I know that uh, everybody is summer and you know we have Carrie's actually um, gracing us with her presence from some backwoods area <laughs> so the the internet might be a little dodgy but uh, she's uh, definitely um, going to try to make it work so I just want to thank everyone for coming on I know sometimes it's so hard with summer we guests and barbecues and baseball and soccer and you name it is going on so I really appreciate everyone um, who comes on it gives us an hour of their time I know for me I'm on vacation this week um, but this time mm -hmm. kind of brings me back, um, you know, and keeps me motiv motivated, keeps my momentum going um, each week. And we always have amazing guest speakers and up-to-date things. And so it's really great just to tune in for the half hour. It's me. Yeah. Awesome. Hey, Carrie. So um, Carrie is a national marketing director from out west. And uh, she hit NMD last year, and uh, she is on Brian Marsh's team. For those of you um, who know Brian, he is amazing. He's been such a, an awesome sideline to us. He always comes on and does really awesome training. And I know Carrie is rocking out west, and I'm so excited to, to see her and her team. Um, and Carrie's just going to share with us, because she hit NMD through the summer months and um, I know it's really hard to stay motivated when you have so much on your plate but she's just gonna share a little bit about what that looked like for her what action she was doing how she kept her team motivated and all that kind of stuff so Carrie are you able to, to chat right now you bet it, just started, it just started pouring here so <laughs> Which is going to be interesting because I kicked my kids out to go play tennis. So we'll oh, see what happens. Amazing. <laughs> anyway. Thank you so much for the lovely introduction. I'm so honored that you asked me to be on. Um, hey, Sarah, can you hear me at all? Maybe I'll go live. You can hear me now? Way better? But I can't hear you because you're probably on mute, right? Yeah, sorry. Yeah, okay, yeah I, can, I can hear you now. You're good right okay. now. <laughs> so sorry, guys. That's um, okay. You just let me know if I, if I go, uh, I'm going to stare at you, but if I go... Right I'll go like this. Please, yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. You're okay. good. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. Um, I'm so honored to be on this call tonight and so grateful to you, Sarah, for asking me to be on. Um, I am in Kananaskis country, which is gorgeous, but um, reception is fairly poor. So bear with me, guys. I'll do my best. And if you need me to repeat anything, of course, I'm happy to do so. But um, Sarah asked me to come on and, and just share a little bit about my journey to NMD. And it, it was a really exciting one for me. So it makes me really happy to be able to share it with anybody who's willing to have a listen. Um, but I'll tell you just briefly, you know, how I came to be in this business. And it started off with um, interest in the products. So I was just a really tired mom. I was exhausted. My kids weren't sleeping. I wasn't sleeping. Um, I, you know, I was home with my children 24 seven and I just needed something to, I don't know, put a little pep in my step. And so when I got on the products, uh, I was thrilled to be able to get enough energy to just be happy again. And I was doing double classes at the gym and I was, I don't know, I was just such a cranky mom before. And it was the thing I gave up my career for. So to feel so unfulfilled and the the ridiculous amount of mom guilt that went along with those big feelings. Um, it just, it caused me to just be like, jump in, 
try this out. But when I had the products, it was like game over. I totally believe what I didn't anticipate was, um, the beautiful community that goes along with this, these products. And so I love the products, but I've fallen in love with the business. And so, um, I often lead with the business because this is just such a passion of mine and to be able to share it with any mom out there who may have felt the way I felt when I was first, you know, a new tired, exhausted mama leaving her career. Um, just, I don't know. I just, I love sharing it. So anyways, um, I guess when I first started in the business, it was explained to me that there are, you know, if you really want to go with this business, there's three key components to success. So to be successful, they told me you need to, um, you need to be teachable. You have an upline. Everybody has a mentor. And so they said to me, you know, follow what your mentor says. And if they give you a suggestion, do it. And so I did that. Everything that was asked of me, I showed up for it. So if they asked me to launch my business, I launched my business. Um, if they asked me to start online events, I started those events and I played a role in them. And although it scared the like pants off of me 100%, because being, um, I was like a total introvert, terrified of social media, terrified of talking to people. Um, all of this stuff scared the crap out of me, but um, I think I was just so lonely and desperate for community that I was like, you know what? These people make me feel safe. These people make me feel comfortable. If there's any place, and I actually, I love the anonymity of it too. I didn't know anyone in the community at first. So I was like, eh, nobody knows me. If I goof it, who cares? Um, and so um, I was teachable. I said yes to everything. And, um, and I had a lot of fun doing it and it helped me to grow because you absolutely cannot do a business where you're saying no to yourself all the time. Um, you have to be able to be willing to get uncomfortable with what you have to do, right? Everything about what we do here is uncomfortable because you are in a position where maybe you don't know everything about the products. Maybe you, you know, you're just starting off in the business or maybe you've been here forever and you just like, I don't know, you feel like maybe I've plateaued and maybe you're just saying no too much. You know what I mean? Like start saying yes, get uncomfortable. You grow your confidence that way. And, and it's like stepping stones to the very here. If I said no to my business launch, I wouldn't have been on this call with Sarah. So it's like this progressive, yes, 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 yes thing. You just, you do it, you get scared and you move on. So the first component of success they said to me was, you know, be teachable. Um, the second was consistency. And so consistency for me was, um, first of all, I found a pocket of time. I'm a stay at home mummy. And so I knew I love mornings. Don't get me wrong. So this was easy for me, but I knew uh, if I wanted this business to work, I would have to get up at the crack of dawn and put in a good solid bit of time um, while my kiddos were sleeping. And then I got to be mom for the rest of the day. And then I found my time when the kids were in bed again, stole a couple moments here or there, depending on what was going on. NMD, I definitely stole quite a few moments. Um, <laughs> but you know, as you grow in the business, there's different demands put on your beautiful and pristine at first. You, you kind of have to um, figure it out as you go along the way, right? So um, consistently, for sure, with my DMO, but also with um, events. So, you know, with specific regard to NMD, we had a consistent Monday night event, two events, East Coast event, West Coast event. They were online express events that happened every single Monday. And even if nobody showed or if we had one guest, we still ran these. So it was consistent. Um, and I think that helped. We also got into live events, which was something that I would have never dreamed of doing, but we got those going. And even if it was just me and one other team and we just used it as a team building, we were there consistently every Thursday. So that meant in a week, we had three events happening. And I honestly believe the events are where the magic happens, right? So we started those in June um, and we had one consistently. And when I went away to Ontario, cause I'm originally from Ontario, I had a team growing there and we ran the events there as well. So uh, wherever I am in the world, I kind of make a point to, um, to 
to do this business and, and show it off that I can be in Canada, this country where, you know, there's beautiful big trees above me and I can still come on to an event. And it's, it's, it's the absolute ultimate time freedom, this job, because, you know, I can do it anywhere as long as there's a Wi-Fi signal, even if it's poor. Um, yeah, and I have a phone, then I can do this business. So it's pretty cool that way. The third component of success was that I plugged in. So we have an incredible, um, we have incredible resources, online resources. I had incredible training. And even if you don't have um, a consistent training that happens every week, obviously Sarah has something that she puts together for you guys. Um, and there's probably uplines and uplines of people that have um, training. Or things that you can tap into, but who can really go at the best advice from the juice class? Sorry, Sarah, for my Wi Fi. Oh, I'm back. I'm back. Okay. Uh, Brian gave me great advice. So sorry, guys. To do your own personal development too. Juice classes again. Oh. Carrie, can you just um go back like a minute of what you're saying. <laughs> um, I think the last where we, you kind of got cut off was, um, uh, oh God, I'm drawing my blank. Sure. Uh, um, right after what you, you start personal development but right before that about resources and plug again was 16 yeah. plus hours away and I was the first that I knew the ladies what anything was in the compensation plan and I didn't have anyone that I could draw on in Canada and I am a very impulsive person and I didn't like waiting so I would just call HO and I'd be like what is this how do I do it I'm not encouraging you to annoy HO because you guys have your upline what I am saying though is reach out to your upline if you have any of those questions, because if you just keep them bottled up and don't get them answered, that's exactly what's gonna happen. They're not gonna get answered, right? And then you're, you're, you're stuck in the I don't know phase. And so I was just really resourceful and I got to know those ladies and I was super, super really nice to them so that they didn't get to annoy with me and I found my way along so even if you're someone who maybe your upline isn't overly active you just if you want this answer to make it work if you you know on the flip side, if, if you don't, you will find an excuse for development. I, you know, the last two and a half years doing this, I'm able, I've grown as a human being. And it was from Juice Plus and also like today I was grocery shopping listening to Rachel Hollis and I was like oh yeah this is something I got to share in my team training and you know so um, plugging in was something that was huge for me getting my questions answered so that I was in happen or maybe wasn't a good answer for me um lastly so those were the three things that were to me on if you want to be successful and I just I'm somebody who's like okay it as a team to you know for the road to NMD is we 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 gathered a group of us and we said who wants to go for this 
So we had a, a team that was across Canada. We were in the U.S. We were in different parts of the world. And so this was really cool because there was different team for different super so to NMD is, is a lot of it is accumulating those points that you need to get because it's a larger number, right? And so whenever anybody would get a customer, we would celebrate like crazy in our chat with gifts and um it was really fun. Like and and so the whole journey, we just made it really fun. Um and, and we celebrated absolutely everything along the way. And we were fortunate too, because our mentors came over um, to Canada a couple of times and we had some great events and that as well. But it really was um, finding out where people are at in this business and where they want to go for, with it as well. It's like just asking them, your team, their whys and getting to know them so well. So I don't know if I answered all that you. Yes, that was so good. And so many nuggets and things that, you know, Brian has been um, a great resource for us in our, you know, trainings and, and he's just been such a great um, tool that we use and all the things that you said, um, you know, we have a start strong pro, uh, call every Wednesday at, at 745 and it's all about being teachable and having the desire and getting uncomfortable and all that. So I love that it was just like affirmation, you know, see, it's not just us, it's everybody that's on this um, and it's so true. And I, um, I feel like you and I have a very similar story and, and like, I'm not like super shy, but I definitely have, have been insecure my whole life in this business and this community, um, for the first time, you know, I feel safe and I'm connected and I feel like I can take on the world. And, um, you know, I know that you and I've had some really great conversations about, you know, the personal growth aspect of it. So thank you so much for sharing um, all of that and taking the time out of, um, you know, your vacation. Does anyone have any questions for Carrie at all? Everyone's so quiet. <laughs> Anyone? Nobody. Come on. Someone has to. Um, when you said that you would like celebrate with gifts, like did you do, because that's what we kind of did when I was going for NMD. Um, I would, we have like, um, like, um, what is the word called? I forget. Like incentives? Um, yeah. Like, you know, for every trio, there would be something or... I feel like you need to find your, your team's love language or like what drives them, right? Because everybody's different. Yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah, we definitely had incentives. Yeah. And so it would be, um, I was, oh, I was really, really big into, hey, Jen Brennan, um, <laughs> you. you're amazing too. Um, we, I was really big into Hilberg and Burke. I love her. I love her jewelry. And Ooh. so one of the incentives was the sparkle ball earrings, you know, um, we all love them. And my girls actually ended up buying me sparkle ball earrings and bracelets that I wore on, uh, on at the end of the seat. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. She's, oh, look into her. She's great. So we had that, but then we had cash prizes as well yeah. because, um, people, I did Amazon gift cards, but honestly, I think, um, any incentive you do, I think people, just love the recognition yes. of it. Like they love the journey yeah. of it. Like let's have some fun with it and have a, a giggle here and there. And it just, the incentives and celebrating everybody's um, customer count was, uh, we were all a part of yeah. it. It made it bigger than just me hitting the title. It was for everyone in there to just kind of have some fun and, and yeah, but, but we do it and we continue it. Like it was such a successful thing that we continue doing it. Um, we're doing a Tiffany's Ooh. prize, so a Tiffany's bracelet coming up, yeah, for this next conference. And how many of you, like, seriously, all of you guys can, like, shout to the high heavens right now that we have conference in Canada. I in know. Ah, right here. You guys can, like, come and enter, but um, it's going to be awesome. Do some team building um, maybe the day before and go out to Banff and yeah. Banff it up. Well, you, you, we actually are. Um, a bunch of us are going to Canmore and Banff a couple days before. So it's really exciting. And there's awesome. some, 
there's some big, uh, there's some big uh, goals on this team, um, you know, heading into the conference. So I'm really, really excited. And um, we're really excited to see you there. And I know Brian's going to be there. And um, yeah, I just have no idea what to expect. I'm just so friggin' excited. I, I was know. like, I don't want to wish summer away, but I really can't wait for October to come. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah. I know. It's like this angst. There's an angst there. It's excitement, but it's angst because you're yeah. like, oh, gosh, I get, you don't, I don't know. We don't know a lot about it, right? We just exactly. know it's awesome and it's yeah. the first and that's just really exciting. Yeah, yeah, I love that. Thank you again, Carrie. Okay, so does anyone have any last remarks, questions? We're good? Awesome. Well, I'll let everyone go enjoy the rest of their, um, their Wednesday evening. Carrie, thank you again so, so, so much. It's like just a little over a month and we'll be seeing each other and enjoying yes. conference and um this is another thing i love about our business like i know for me and jen and all the leaders and i pretty much everyone that i i know personally on the team like and carrie i'm sure like if anyone had questions you, you are more than happy to, you know you're you'd be willing to answer them or people reaching out and I love that about this this community. Like, no, we're not on the same team, but here we are sharing, you know, our hearts and, you know, what inspires us. And, um, yeah, I'm just super, super blessed to be a part of this community. So thank you again for your time and you go, and all that great stuff. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you so much, Sarah. And thank you, everybody else. Um, I look forward to Looking forward to meeting all of you at conference. We're going to have a great time. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Have a good night. Thank you. Don't forget 9 o'clock call. Good night. Night.